Welcome back to another Latilides tutorial. In today's video, I will show you how to make an audio wave equalizer like this, automatically, quickly, and easily without the hassle of making it manually. Besides that, you can make it as a photo frame like this, or any image that is more artistic. Okay, let's jump to Adobe Illustrator. First of all, create a straight line using the Line Segment tool. and set the stroke to 5 points. Open the stroke panel, and change the corner to bevel point. Make this line right in the middle of the artboard by clicking on the vertical and horizontal align center, at the top of here. And make sure it's, aligned to artboard, so that this line is right in the middle of the artboard vertically and horizontally. From this straight line we will transform it into a sound wave using Ruffin. Open the effect menu. Distort and Transform. And click Ruffin. Put a check mark on the preview, so we can see the changes live. For the option select Relative, and set the size to 15%. For Detail, set to Maximum Value. For the points, set to the corner. Click OK. After we get a shape like this, we just need to make it wavy, so that it resembles the sound wave of a song. To make it wavy, we use a mesh to do it. Open the object menu. Envelope distort. And click, make with mesh. Set the rows to 1. And the columns can be adjusted according to the number of waves we want to make. As an example in this tutorial, I'm going to set the columns to 6. And we can still add more later to get a more dynamic sound wave. Before editing the mesh of these lines, I want to add guidelines to help define the center of this sound wave, so that it can look symmetrical between the top and bottom sound waves. To do this, just left click and hold on the ruler and slide it to the artboard. If the position feels right, just release the click. But if you feel that the position is not right in the middle of the artboard, you can use the align tool to put it right in the middle of the artboard. If this ruler is still selected you can find the Align tool in the Control Panel Overview, over here. And make sure the Align mode is aligned to Artboard. Then select Vertical Align Center. This is just to make sure that the guidelines are right in the middle of the artboard. If the ruler in your Illustrator doesn't exist, you can open it in the View menu. Rulers. Show Ruler. Return to our mesh, use the Direct Selection tool to edit the anchor points of the mesh. In this section, I will make it closer together. If you pay attention to the sound wave of a song, then this section will have less waves, because this part is usually the opening of a song. Drag these two anchor points closer to the guidelines. Likewise the anchor point below. Select one anchor point that has been moved. Set the handles that each anchor point has to approach the anchor point. The goal is that these wave lines have the same density. Do the same for the other three anchor points. In this section, add one more mesh line. And pinch these two end anchor points to the guidelines so that they fade in on the sound wave. Click the very end anchor point once again and move the vertical handle closer to the second mesh line. Do the same with the anchor point on the other side. Add three more mesh lines to this section. And adjust the anchor point so that they form a wave. Space this wave line by moving a few anchor points outward. After this section is finished, we just have to do the same with the rest of it. Do the same way as before. All you have to do is add a few mesh lines on the part you want to give waves. You can adjust the anchor points as long as the anchor points are vertically aligned, but you can also adjust the handle to get a more dynamic result.
Once done and we have got the sound wave result like this. We just need to add a thinner additional waveline. Copy this object. Go to the edit menu and click copy. Before pasting it, go to the object menu again. Lock. And selection. That way these objects can't be edited for a while until we unlock them. After this object is locked, open the edit menu again, and paste it in place. Now, here we have two objects. If you open the layers panel then you will get two sublayers, the first is the sublayer where the first object has been locked and the other is the new object that we just pasted. We can give a name to each of these sublayers. The first is a thick line. And the second is a thin line. Next, we are going to edit this thin line layer. In the control panel overview over here, there are two buttons, the first is the edit envelope. If active, it allows us to edit the mesh that has been added to an object. And the second button is, Edit Contents. And if it is active, we can edit the object, or content that is inside the envelope, or objects that have been added to the mesh, without disturbing the lines of the mesh that has been created. Activate Edit Contents. And change the stroke of the line to two points. After that, reactivate the Edit Envelope again to edit the mesh lines. Use the Direct Selection tool, and select all the anchor points above, except the anchor points at the left and right ends then lift it up. Do the same with the anchor point at the bottom. The rest, you can adjust certain anchor points to get more dynamic results. Now I am happy with the result. Open the Layers panel and unlock the Thick Line layer. Select these two objects, then go to the Object menu. Select Expand. This makes the Roughen and Envelope effect we applied to the line permanent. Go back to the Object menu and expand it one more time. This will make these two objects, which are all open paths, now turned into a shape. After that, unite these two shapes using the Pathfinder. Open the Pathfinder panel. Or if you don't have it, you can activate it in the window menu and look for the Pathfinder. In the Pathfinder panel, select Unite, to unite these two objects. Okay, now we are done creating this sound wave. Next, we just need to give it a flat color or gradient. Or, we can also use an image to give it a more artistic color. Here I have prepared an image of the galaxy. Right click on the image. Arrange and click send to back. After that select these two objects, and right click again, and click make clipping mask. If you get a warning like this, just ignore it, and click yes. And this sound wave has finished. And I am quite satisfied with the results. You can create your own sound wave, you are free to experiment with different sound wave models or you can also follow the original sound wave of a song and make it like this. And finally, if this video is useful, please subscribe, like, and share. See you in the next video.